Solar Edge is best known for its solar inverters and DC power optimizers. It has also ventured into the home battery market. Despite announcing the closure of its energy storage division in November 2024, which focusing mainly on utility-grade products, Solar Reg's residential battery remains available and is expected to continue in the market. Can Solar Edge achieve the same level of success in residential energy storage as it has with its inverters? We need to find out whether its battery product can compete with the strongest competitors in the market like Tesla Powerwall 3. In this video, we'll compare Solar Edge home battery with Tesla's Powerwall 3 and potentially other strong competitors. We'll evaluate these systems across six key dimensions, configuration, footprint, environmental compatibility, installation and maintenance, load flexibility, and bonus features. Each category will be scored, with installation and maintenance weighted at 20 points and the other categories at 10 points each, for a total of 70 points. Category 1 Configuration the SolarEdge Home Battery offers a 9.7 kilowatt R capacity per pack and pairs with SolarEdge's Home Hub Hybrid Inverters, which have output power ranging from 3.8 to 11 point per kilowatt. The Hub Inverter supports up to three battery packs, which means 29.1 kilowatt hours per inverter. It allows up to three inverters in parallel, enabling scalability up to 34 kilowatts and 87 kilowatt hours which is quite a decent capacity. However, the system lacks a convenient AC coupling solution for customers with existing string or micro inverters. To create an AC coupled setup, customers must add a hub inverter as the leader inverter with the existing string inverter serving as a follower. This adds complexity, making the process less user friendly. Additionally, for third party inverter support, the SolarEdge system requires connecting the inverter to the grid side of the backup interface, but third-party inverters cannot generate power in off-grid mode. They should have done better if they designed a better gateway product like the PointGuard Load Hub and better system architecture. Given its vast solar customer base, this oversight is unfortunate, and many of them must look to other providers for better AC coupling solutions. The configuration mismatch is another limitation. A single battery pack provides 5 kilowatts continuous power. Two packs can deliver 10 kilowatts, but this doesn't fully utilize the inverter's capacity. With three packs, the system is limited by the inverter's 11.4 kilowatts output, leading to wasted capacity on either the battery or inverter side. I will give for scores out of 10 to SolarEdge home battery for the configuration. Tesla Powerwall 3 had 5 scores in this category in my previous video. Category 2 Footprint The SolarEdge battery system has a significant physical footprint. A single 9.7 kWh pack is quite large, and with 3 packs, the setup becomes even bulkier. Compared to Tesla Powerwall 3, the sizes are similar. However, Tesla integrates a hybrid inverter which reduces its overall footprint. Both systems perform worse in this regard compared to stackable batteries like PointGuard or Anka Solix X1. I give 5 scores out of 10 to SolarEdge Home Battery for the footprint part. Tesla Powerwall 3 was 7 scores in previous video. Category 3 Environmental Compatibility SolarEdge batteries operate within a temperature range of minus 10 to 50 degrees Celsius which limits outdoor installation in colder climates like Canada or the eastern U.S. While the NEMA 3 R rating is standard, it does not outperform competitors, and extra precautions are necessary when installing the unit near coastal areas in the outdoor environment. Tesla Powerwall 3 performs slightly better in colder climates, with a minimum operating temperature of minus 20 degrees Celsius. I give 5 scores out of 10, to SolarEdge Home Battery for this part, Tesla Powerwall 3 had 6 scores. Category 4 Installation and Maintenance Installing the SolarEdge Home Battery requires at least a people and equipment like a dolly or lift. Because it has a 262 pounds weight per pack, wall-mounted installations are especially difficult. Additionally, 
Connecting battery packs and inverters involves extra conduit and work. SolarEdge has simplified some aspects by using MC for connectors between the battery and inverter, but compared to Tesla Powerwall 3, installation requires more time. For three battery packs, installers may need at least an extra hour compared to Tesla, and two to three more hours compared to stackable systems like PointGuard. On the maintenance side, the modular design allows for relatively easy replacement or servicing in the future. I give 13 scores out of 20 to SolarEdge Home Battery for the installation and maintenance part. Tesla Powerwall 3 had 15 scores in previous video. Category 5 Load Flexibility The SolarEdge Backup Interface is a standard gateway product with a maximum capacity of 200 amp and support for up to three hub inverters. A standout feature is the generator input with two-wire dry contact control, enabling seamless off-grid operation, which Tesla doesn't have. However, the backup interface lacks built-in breaker positions for direct load connections, requiring a separate subpanel or main panel connection. SolarEdge's load controller adds some flexibility by enabling smart load management, though installation requires additional components and time. I give 9 scores out of 10 to SolarEdge Home Battery for the load flexibility part, which is the same as Tesla, mainly because of the external load controller and generator support. Category 6 Bonus Features While the SolarEdge Home Battery itself may not be a standout product, the surrounding ecosystem adds value. To products in particular, deserve attention. Hot Water Controller this product optimizes water heater operation, potentially saving money under time of use rates. In some regions, it even enables participation in utility demand response programs. SolarEdge 1 expected in North America in 2025. This platform integrates PV systems, EVE chargers, storage solutions, and building assets like heat pump and lighting. It aims to optimize energy generation and usage reduce energy bills, and even enable homeowners to generate income. These features demonstrate SolarEdge's focus on a fully integrated energy management system, benefiting both homeowners and utility companies. I give 10 scores out of 10 to SolarEdge for the bonus features part. Conclusion The SolarEdge home battery itself is underwhelming, especially considering SolarEdge's leading position in the solar sector. The reliance on an OEM manufacturer may contribute to limitations in product design and long-term competitiveness. With the recent closure of its battery business unit, it's unlikely SolarEdge will significantly improve its residential battery offering in the near future. That said, the broader ecosystem SolarEdge is building deserves recognition. The integration of energy generation, usage, and management across a home is an ambitious and commendable goal. The final score for SolarEdge is 46 out of 70, while Tesla Powerwall 3 had 42. Don't forget to comment with your opinion and subscribe.